Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of my Sims 2 Pleasant View Let's Play. Today we'll be playing in Blue Water Village again, and we'll be playing the De La Rosa family. We'll just be maintaining her flower shop. Maybe she want to go out on some dates. I'm not too sure because she is a knowledge sim, but I guess we'll have to find out and see what she uh, has in store for us in this round. So let's get to it. Okay, here we are with Miss Florence De La Rosa. She's sleeping in today. I think we opened the store last when we came and played her. Um, she wants to gain a skill point, invite someone over, talk, go swimming, chat online. She might reroll these wands though. Um, and she did have her very first kiss, or her, her, she kissed Jace for the first time, and her very first woohoo was done with him in a photo booth down at, um, one of the clubs, the nightclub downtown. <laughs> So, I guess we'll find out if she's pregnant um, from this round. So far, I don't see anything too crazy happening to her, but we haven't really played. Yeah, she just woke up for the day, and she's getting a bunch of wants to get a job, which is not going to happen because you uh, have your own business, ma'am. Maybe we'll just open the store again today and just sell a bunch of stuff because we need to earn some money. And uh, she also needs to get some... She wants a skill point, so we'll work on her creativity for this uh, floral arrangement thing. And she also has a piano, so I feel like she's into creativity. Not gonna lie, I can't wait for round two when we get around to it. <laughs> oh, she just got a cooking skill point. Darn. Well, I guess we'll be working towards that telescope then. Oh my god, she just got some bills and they're expensive. Let's open the business. We need to start selling some stuff go over here. She wants to see a ghost. That's not gonna happen. Unless she wanna- well, actually, no, we can't. There's nobody in our cemetery yet. No one's dead. <laughs> Except for Michael Bachelor, but I didn't move him into a cemetery. He's still on the, the Caliente lot. Um, and so let's try to sell some stuff to some people. Stop trying to read the newspaper, please. So John Burb's here. Maybe he's trying to rebuy that plant I sold from him. <laughs> Sorry, John. You have twins. You can't afford anything. Why are you even out buying stuff? You're gonna waste your money. Alright, come on. We gotta start selling some stuff. Kennedy Cox, do you want this? No? What the heck? Well, guess what? No one wants you and your huge nose. Thank you, John. I know I could count on you to buy, a, to buy something for me. Ricky Cormier is also buying something. Oh, she thinks Joe Graham is hot. Bro's got a really long nose, too. There's a couple sims that have really long noses. Oh, no. Ring up the customers. Stop trying to talk to John. You gotta ring up the customers. He bought a new vase. A new tulip vase. <laughs> Alright, we'll replace your plant with that. Don't worry. Does she have any talent badges? She's got one in floral arranging and sales. You need that for the uh, cash register. That'd be nice. Let's see if I can get something to s get a Joe Graham to buy something. And Wanda Tinker needs some help, so we're gonna help her again. Nice. I'm gaining stars all over the place. Oh, man, there's a lot of people in here. Sometimes it's like really busy, and sometimes there's like nobody. Can I help you, Rosemary? Oh, I'm actually I'm going to help Joe Carr first. Come on, Joe. No? Joe! Oh, she thinks Joe and Kennedy are ugly. Hold on, guys. I need to help Rosemary find what she's needing to find. Then I'll be right there, Ricky. Ring up the customers, please. Thank you for being very patient, Ricky. Oh my god, look at that face. Oh! <laughs> Dude is looking really angry. Holy moly. Is there another wolf here? Yeah, there is. Dakota. Well, there's Tucker. I know some people are saying that I should get Tucker with, um... With, uh, the burbs. So, I'll have to keep my eyes open for Tucker. Or maybe I can just, uh, summon him. And then we'll just adopt him. Um, we also need to adopt to, I guess, cats? Or the goths, then, too. Because I guess there's two cats that are also from The Sims 1 and The Sims 2 that someone said that they wanted me to 
get together, get them with the family again. So I will work on this. I will work on it. It's getting late. We're gonna have to close the store. Can we get this badge yet? Like, come on. I also don't want Joe and Kennedy here anymore because they're just bringing my business down. I finally figured out what those cash registers keys do and earned the bronze cash register badge. Good. Finally. I was just saying that. Okay, let's close the store. Bring up the customers. Oh, there's Mary Sue. Oh, no, I didn't know Mary Sue was coming. I would have stayed open for her. Oh my god, Kennedy thinks she's hot. <laughs> and we have to restock everything yet, and we have to put everything in there. We'll have to make some daisies and some tulip bouquets. Okay. Just make a couple of these real quick. A couple tulip bouquets, too. Oh, we're getting very uncomfortable. Hold on. Awesome. Put that in our inventory. And then go back to restocking. We're getting really, really tired. We gotta keep our needs up because she might be pregnant, actually. And I might kill her if I keep doing it, this, but that'd be pretty upsetting. I don't think she's pregnant, though. She hasn't shown any signs or any uncomfortable feelings, so we're fine. I think we're just uh, killing her, though, with the uh, amount of work I'm putting in her. Alright, we restocked the store, so why don't we open again? We're gonna keep opening and selling stuff as long as we need. Um, we're doing pretty good. We got some money yesterday. <clears throat> oh, we also need to pay the bills, so make sure we go pay those real quick. Those bills are expensive. They're like 400 bucks almost. 352? Jeez. Oh, someone's calling. Answer the phone. Who is it? It's Chris Jacobs. Okay. Dude. She really, really, really likes talking to everyone who has a business. <laughs> she likes uh, Malcolm, too. She keeps calling him up. Oh, Orlando needs some help. Listen, I need to call you back. We're, we're not going to keep talking about kissing. I need to help some customers real quick. Now we're rank 3. Awesome. Ooh, I forgot to say, buy the perk points. It's flashing at me now. Let's get the discount for notable reputation. We can uh, do assess mood too. Oh, we still got one more. Let's do simply influential as well. I'm gonna save mm -hmm. the money for last because we don't really need it. The mo the bonus money. All right, let's ring up these customers. There's a lot of people in here. One, two, three, four, five, six, six, six Sims in this little cubby. Try to basic sell Ivy. Hopefully we don't mess it up. Oh, we got her to buy it. Alright, let's ring up the customers. We don't want them to get mad. She's doing very, very well. Normally I struggle to run the flower shop. Randy Broke likes to come over here, I guess, and walk into her house. So we're, we're earning some money, which is not bad. Oh my god, I can't even help anybody. Ivy was just shooting farts for uh, Brady. Wow. Ivy, do you not remember that you went on a date with Malcolm Landgrab? Maybe she just doesn't care about him. They didn't really have a lot of chemistry. They only had one bolt. Mallory? Everyone's farting hearts for Brady. <laughs> wow. Alright, it's getting really late. And uh, we still need to close the store. Hurry up. Ring up. Ring up the customers. Here we go. We made uh, quite a bit of money today. Still have to do restocking, but I'm gonna put it go uh, fill her needs up real quick. She gained a stocking badge. Okay, we need more bouquets, daisy bouquets. We're out of those, so we'll have to make some more tomorrow. Did she gain enough yet? No, we're still not enough for a telescope. Well, we did, but I spent it on uh, restocking the store because I think that's more important. To restock your uh, stuff versus buying things that you need or want. It is Saturday though, so I think I'm just gonna have her relax and do whatever she wants for the weekend. She can be closed if she wants. Um, we'll work on her like floral arranging. She can uh, work on being friends with people. Maybe we'll go out somewhere downtown. Now let's go clean up. Oh, there's Lucy Burb. I really need to change her outfit and make, give her a makeover, but I literally had no money to get her new outfit, and uh, those twins are uh, becoming a pain. <laughs> but hopefully we can uh, keep things going for them. 
Answer the phone. Who is it? It's Chris Jacobson's. Wow. All right. Well, Saturday flew by really fast because she hasn't been doing anything besides playing the piano and dancing to the stereo. So she hasn't wanted to do anything other than gain skill points too. So I had her gain a couple skill points. So it's just uh, that's just the sad truth about knowledge sims is they're pretty uh, boring in terms of drama. <laughs> But we'll keep opening the store. We still have two days left, and uh, this is uh, this episode might become very short. So I think uh, tomorrow I'm just gonna take her somewhere just to make it a bit interesting. Take her out. All right, she's feeling like she's in a good mood. So let's go hang out at a community lot. Let's go to downtown. The let's just go to Crypto Nightclub. She likes to go there, as we saw in the other episode with Malcolm. Maybe we can get some juicy drama down there like we did last time. We can see if uh, anybody starts hooking up with each other. <laughs> oh, here's Don Lothario. Oh god. Whenever Don's around somewhere, you know it's bound to be bad. We made it to the nightclub. Here we go. She's farting hearts for Don. Let's say hi. One bowl. Wow. Who else do we have here? Uh, Comey Guevara's here. Nice moves, Don. You're always fun to have around. I wonder what his second round's gonna be like. I mean, it's it's been rough for, uh... Oh, there's Sandy Broody. Maybe he'll meet Sandy Broody. We're just gonna go tell Don a joke. Oh, God. Don't get close to him, Florence. You know what... You don't know how, what he's like. Look at Gordon down here. Nice. <laughs> Maybe we can see what Don's wants are like. Oh my god. All of Don's wants are to get- be friends with Florence. Give her back rub and flirt with her. <laughs> of course they are with Don. Ah, uh, Don. You are scandalous. Oh my god. Everyone dancing down here, that's funny. Well, Miss Crumplebottom is here. Ugh. You're such a hag. Why do you have to be around here? I'm getting a little hungry. Maybe we might just dine out here. All right. Florence likes salmon. That's not a bad plate to be uh, to like. All right, we're done with that. Let's see if we can uh, go back to telling jokes and stuff to Don. We want to try to keep being friends with him because he wants to, and I'm trying to keep in mind that's something that he is interested in. Even then, if, if that's something that she's not interested in. This crumple bottom scares me. She's super creepy. She's just prowling around everywhere with her grouchy look. Alright, it's getting really, really late. It's almost 6 p.m. Um, nothing much happened here other than uh, Florence getting to meet Don Lothario. And I think he's probably going to want to woohoo her with her later on. Which is something we can do for him, because he doesn't really care. So we're just gonna go home then, because there's not much going on around here. Oh my god, her house is so horrible outside. I forgot to hire a gardener, I'm gonna have to do that. Alright, let's get these needs taken care of, and then we can open the store for today. Um, this is the last day that she has on her round. <laughs> I feel kind of bad because it's been uh, only like 30 minutes <laughs> and uh, but when you run the business it takes up the majority of her free time and in her free time she doesn't do anything other than uh, play the piano anyway so that's why I thought I would just take her out somewhere but even then that was a you know not really fun nothing really happened Alright, we're gonna open the store one last time here. Let's open the business. Hopefully, um, the gardener can come and help clean some of this up. Because, uh, it's pretty bad out here. Let's try to basic sell some hey, of this some people. Yeah, come on. You wanna buy my flowers? Oh, good. My gardener's here. Please clean everything up. It's horrible out here. <laughs> Can you imagine coming to work? This is your first time coming here, and this is what you come to work to. No TV, Florence. Come on. You need to sell some stuff. You want that telescope or not? You need to work on this stuff. 
Uh, Callista Desperate is, uh, <laughs> Desperate. <laughs> Her last name's Desperate. Oh my god. Yeah, she's desperate for this to end. <laughs> Let's try to get him to buy more stuff. Come on. Again. Again. Hey! Okay, Jennifer, you need to leave. Nope, you need to leave. You need to leave. You're... You're causing Jasmine Collin some distress. And, uh, you're poking her and she's gonna write my uh, store bad if you're gonna keep poking her. Oh, well, we got the silver talent badge. Awesome. Now she wants the gold one. I've been investing in your business. I think it's top notch. I'm writing a good review to tell others of your establishment. Thank you. Well, thank God he thought it was good. Thank you. And you gave us the best of the best reward. Awesome. So we can put that up. Right on the counter there. Oh, and I wanted to give her this, uh, she wants, she bought these when she was over at, uh, the furniture store. So we'll put them outside, I guess. They're outdoor, <laughs> they're outdoor attire. Gilbert is approving of my, uh, reward over here. My award. Come on, we got a line going over here now. Alright, next. Come on, Joe. Ricky Wood's here. Ricky Wood is, like, everywhere. He's gonna be a well-known townie sooner or later. Alright, I think I'm about ready to close the store. Let's do one basic sell on this guy, because he's, like, right there. Hopefully we can get him to buy it. Yep. Alright, now we're gonna close the store. Because, uh, it's getting late, and, uh, our needs are getting pretty low. Oh, Matthew, you have patience here, but you don't have patience when you're at the, uh, Ramirez Furniture Store. Wow. Florence is 17 days left. She has no air to take care of her store for her. I'm kind of worried about that. We're going to have to, uh... I don't know what she's going to do. This poor girl. It's a bit late. I have to leave now. Yeah, I don't blame you. She's been working on this stuff all day long. And she almost finished it all, but not quite. I think that was the last day. So this is the last round that uh, this of Florence... But what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to restock everything and hopefully we can buy that telescope for her and maybe her air, her, uh, hair, her air might actually be a, a uh, an alien child. <laughs> we'll see. Yep, I was able to afford the telescope she wanted. Um, even though she's 306 bucks left. She should be able to still maintain the store and sell it and be able to afford her bills next time, too. So, we'll be good on that. She wants to gain a logic skill point, but don't worry, you will. Um, but yeah, this is the end of her round. She only has a couple seconds left here. Yep, and it's daytime. So, yeah, this is the end of the round for her. And, uh, if you enjoyed, I know it was a bit short. And a bit non-eventful, but sometimes we're going to have sims like this where they're just relaxing and we don't have a lot going on because there are going to be a lot of families that have a bunch of dr uh, drama in them. But, as always, if you enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe. And in the next episode, we'll be playing the Tinker Family. Um, and then after that, the Jaquettes, and then we'll be starting round two already. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I can't wait for that. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next episode with the Tinker family. Thank you so much for watching.